Yes, yes, how's it going? Manakado back once again. This time with iron wings. Ooh. Yes, we are becoming a World War II a veteran. Or is it World War One? I? I don't know. Oh god, there's lots of settings. Are we gonna go in the campaign? Should we be the campaign? What about we? What about we? What about Let's just take free flight by New York. Okay, right, campaign. Uh, right, let's go. Let's see what Iron Wings is made of. Wing where? It was President Roosevelt who ordered the Tuskegee program. I entered the Institute because I'd wanted to be a pilot ever since I was a kid. I kept saying to myself, if anyone can do it, I can. I can be a pilot too. That's it. Those are hard times for all of us. I came from New Jersey. Even the journey to the camp wasn't easy. We were up against the whole world back then. We trained together for two years. But in some ways, it was like we were separate. I thought we would never be involved in the real war. Colonel Rules asked me to participate into a program that was intended to get funds for the war. First flight over New York City. It was my first time over a P-38 Lightning. Ooh. I'm a huge fan. Well, I'm a huge fan of World War II, but I mean... Wars are never really great. And especially what happened in World War II and World War I and, you know, every single war is always bad stuff, but anyway. But when we're off, we're gone. Bye. Later, mate. I'm gone. We gotta put our landing gear up and stuff. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, Captain. I'm glad to see you on flight again. The P 51 squadron will follow you during the first part. This flight drill is to get funds from the people down there. Don't forget it. Sure, I do my best. Good to hear that. Let's see if the instruments work fine now. The contact point is right in front of you, and also visible in your radar. Coordinates should appear as a green spot. Once you reach the target, the next one will appear on your radar. Your course will be shown step by step. Right. Roger. Mm. Cool. Radar and controls check. Everything is fine up here. Flies like a bird. Good. You have a new feature on this plane to trace targets. You can easily move through them to select the thing you want to focus on. Mm hmm Target located. I'll proceed with the objective. Lock a target, so you can keep it in sight wherever your plane is heading to. Fly around for a while to get some practice with it. Oh, I see. Trust me, you will find it very useful. Thank you. You can use it for ground or air targets. Clear. Let's start the show, Captain. You need to give the people a little drill. Do what the squadron does. It always has a good shot. Roger, I'm right behind you. Captain, it's time for a little fun, huh? Follow us down below. Let's see if you can really handle your plan. I'm on it. I follow you. 
We we go we Once leave. Once you reach the coordinate, the radar will automatically jump to the next one. Okay, I'll try. P forty five Mustangs. Whoa. Very nice planes in front. It, right? People are here for the show, and this is what you will give to them. Clear. Stay close so people can see you, or the task will not be completed. Okay, I'm on the objective. Once you recognize the target, it is over. Is it clear? Clear. The object is clear. Fly around in a circle and show off your shiny brand new plane, and we raise money for the purchase of defense weapons. Do your best. I'll do it, Colonel. We need to push the citizens of New York to endeavor to raise extra cash. This war will cost billions to defend. Every penny is something for our troops. The government launched a campaign to ask women to donate stockings. Stockings? You heard right, son. Silk, nylon, and rayon are hard to find these days. Sorry, sir. But for what? We use them to make powder sacks for the military. Our parachutes, tents, ropes, and even tires. Okay. I understand. Yeah, boys, look at this. I'm doing some sick flying. Recognized. I will move to the next objective. Also, people feel safe seeing us around. No one feels that way after the war. I understand that. No better place than home. Look at that. It's the Madison. Let's find out what they are playing. Is this I'm after World War Two? Do we say the area was at? Feels like it's the 50s. Do I have something like that? Sure you have, son. This new plane has some cool toys, huh? I don't know. Yeah, boys. Kay Kaiser? Bessie Smith was a singer. I agree, son. Well, it's up to you now, Captain. Go ahead with the next coordinates. I'll help the cause getting some extra cash. How can I do that? You can see some additional targets on your radar. The more extra missions you succeed in, the more money we get. You need to catch the radio... We Bad Elm for a moment to be Chrysler. This was one of the tallest buildings in the world till 1931. Designed by architect William Van Elm for a project of Walter P. Chrysler. This was one of the tallest buildings in the world till one. We Target acquired. I will proceed with the mission. Target recognized. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Proceed with the contact point. We're going very fast. It's definitely after 1941 because they mentioned Pearl Harbor, so... Hmm. 
Right, it is World War Two. Okay. Right. What the hell is that plane doing here, Colonel? Langdon reports an unauthorized flight to the New York area. Well, as directives on procedures. Yes, sir. Captain, stop the show. Roger. We have an uninvited guest close to the city area. I'm searching for visual contact. Do we know the guest? No, not yet. I see it. It's heading downtown. How do I have to proceed? Get close to it, and be careful. Your plane is not armed. We also don't know our guest and the nature of his visit. He is a man from the south. Roger, I will proceed with the new orders. Or try to get as close as I can. Our guest is in a rush. I don't think he will be staying for dinner, sir. It's a P-80, but it has no recognizable mark. Be sure he is heading out of the living area. Roger. Target on site. P-80 prototype. Captain, you can see the target area on your radar. Oh, we almost hit that. Stay inside, or the radar instruments will lose the target trace after a few seconds. Tried to get his radio frequency, but no answer. I think he has the radio off. It is not a good sign. Sorry, Captain. You can't fly that low over the New York area. Back to a safe height immediately. No, it is not. Colonel, the target is heading out of the area. The B-80 can reach a higher speed than your plane. It's a hundred and ten thousand dollar prototype, so follow him for as long as you can. What do citizens think about it, sir? We'll say it's part of the show. I don't care about it. The good thing is this prototype is still unarmed. The guest is in our area. How do I have to proceed? Mission accomplished, Captain. But Colonel... I repeat, mission accomplished. Back to the landing ship. Roger, sir. All right, Contact going right. on my radar. Captain, you still have time to raise some money. If you want, right, you can check the extra radio signals available. Right, then, fine. Yes, sir. Six tower was one of the tallest building in the world till 1913. The tower is modeled after the Campanile in Venice, Italy. MetLife Tower was one of the tallest building in the world till 1913. There we go. Target acquired. I will proceed with the mission. So a player takes on the role of two pirates, Strack and Amelia, as they attempt to take down Nazi aerial menace across a rich campaign of missions, each with numerous objectives and enemies as well as side objectives. Right. Whilst fast paced action goes, you'll also have to consider some strategy as finding your partner primary objectives to shoot down in order to succeed. Okay. Iron Wings is mainly an arcade game, a flying shooter where shooting won't be enough. Target recognized. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Proceed with the contact point. Right to Real achievement. New York campaign. Okay. That's cool. I love World War Two flying games. You were coming out of a decade of depression and didn't want to get mixed up in Europe's problems. But all that changed on December 7, 1941, after Pearl Harbor. Colonel Ruse introduced me into a special squadron called Iron Wing. I didn't know much about our purposes, but I really wanted to join that war badly. I went to meet an old friend of mine and asked her to be my wingmate. Amelia and me had been childhood friends, hard to believe in 1920. My father was an Italian flying ace in the 
First World War, who had escaped the fascist regime. He was a good man, but always seemed a little sad. He taught us how to fly. Amelia came from the Wasp, women's armed services pilots. They were allowed to fly, but they weren't even trained to shoot, so she left. By the end of the war, 27 Wasps had died in battle. The armed forces didn't even allow the stars and stripes to be placed on their coffins. They were considered as civilians and non-combatants. As I said, son, these were hard times. Sad story. So, sister, are you sure you don't want to change your mind? What the hell? How did you get into my radio frequency? Next time, lock your home door. Uh, Mystic Bell. Right. Well. The tigers will cross it until you have to. Right, okay. Listen to me. Don't waste your water. I saw a couple of water silos close to the fire. Ooh. Are you oh. telling me to knock down the silos? <gasps> yes, ma'am. Amelia, listen to me carefully. It's important. If you perform a quick flip while a target is locked, You'll be faced right in front of it. Sounds like an important tip. It is worth a try. We. Oui. All right. Oh god Right We turn around and we go we breathe You ready? We're gonna do this now Full speed, Captain. Touchdown. There we go. That's bad. Bam. Um. Actually, I think I crashed. I keep my eyes open. Another neighbor's burning barn. I think there are no water silos this time. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. I need to drop a water bomb over these fires. Amelia, reduce your speed to the minimum. Copy that. I suggest you reach a height of a thousand as it's easier to target the objective. I get it. Amelia, if you move too much, you'll be unstable and your bomb will lose the objective. Jack, I know that. That's my job. Hey, it's just to remind you. Bomb on target. 
Chodź. Amelia, I've had a few calls from other barns and trucks. Nothing to worry about, but if you want to make more money, well, extra nope. money. Hmm. Let me think about it. We're not going to do that. I got you, damn evil on the wings. The time has come. Let your mama give you some seed. Mm hmm. Are you going to kill Crow? Really? No. Just scare them a bit. Oh, I didn't know you were so sensible. I'm not. Of course. I just want to give you a tip I learned in Tuskegee training. I'm right, all we... ears, Captain. It's hard to face flying targets frontally. Follow its route and tail chase. Tail chase? The perfect position to engage the enemy is right behind the tail. It doesn't take a lot of calculating how much you want to leave the target. You just move on your correct route and fire. Do you get it? Almost. Yeah. Engage flying target from behind, right? Right. Perpetrators. Perpetrators. I so should have died twice. Amelia, I'm leaving. Think about it. Look at you, my little Jack. Leather jacket, sunglasses, cool motorbike. Too funny. I should take a picture of him before he leaves the farm. Okay, I better turn right. off the camera. Oh, jeez. Okay. What the hell? So that's Iron Wings, so obviously eventually you'll get into actual real missions. This is just the introduction. As I said, the introduction is basically just showing you how to play the game. Um, but yeah, then it starts going into the Operation Husky, the invasion of Sicily. And, and yeah. Other location at Black Canyon to many real battlefields along Europe, from Sicily to Naples, passing through Poland and Germany. So that's Iron Wings, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed crashing and going out with a bang. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down, that's okay. But I'm signing out right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon. Take it easy. Peace.